Rule 5.660, Proceedings for Removal of Guardian. Notice, proceedings for removal of a guardian may be instituted by the court, by any surety or other interested person, or by the ward. A formal notice of the petition for removal of a guardian must be served on all guardians and interested persons next of kin and the ward. The pleading must state with particularity the reasons why the guardian should be removed. Accounting. A removed guardian must file with the court an accounting for the guardianship within 20 days after the guardian's removal. A copy of the accounting must be served on the successor guardian and the ward, unless the ward is a minor or has been determined to be totally incapacitated. Transfer of property and records. The removed guardian or the guardian's heirs, personal representative, or surety must turn over all the property of the ward in the removed guardian's control and all guardianship records to the duly qualified successor. The successor guardian must, or the ward may, demand of the removal guardian or the guardian's heirs, personal representative, or surety all of those items. Failure to comply. If a removed guardian fails to follow true and complete and final accounting for the guardianship or to turn over the successor of all property of the ward and the removed guardian's control and all guardianship records, the court must issue a show cause order. Guardian advocates. Subdivision B through D of this rule must apply to the guardian advocates only to the extent that the guardian advocate was granted authority over the property of the person with a developmental disability. If you're interested in any of our services, please call 321-206-3603 or visit easterlaw.com to book a consultation.